So Sennheiser think this is for at the home for sophisticated um, listening and pleasurable, nice and comfortable ear cups. Well, I beg to differ. I wouldn't mind walking down the road with these headphones because they look pretty big around their ears. I want to be blocked out by traffic. I don't want to hear everyone talking. I don't want to hear loads of traffic sound. Sometimes I do, just to make sure I don't get run over and someone tries to mud me from behind. But other than that, these are Sennheiser 599 headphones. And I've had these for ages, but I haven't even got a run to doing it. But I am going to do it now. I think these have been out for probably about a month to two months. That's how long I've had these for. But I'm going to unbox it with you. So let's do a quick unboxing and yeah. And then we'll have a listen to them and see what drivers they are, see how comfortable they are, see how they fit, aesthetic look. Um, and are they too big to go into town with or the city or can you just sit at home like what Sennheiser actually say and sit at home and just relax and chill, take it easy. So look, I'm about to unbox this lovely box that Sennheiser always have a lovely presentation of their their uh, boxes for speakers and stuff and speakers, headphones and stuff. Anyway, on the box it says we've got an impedance or frequency response. We will start with that first. 12 to 38,500 hertz. We've got impedance of 50 ohms, which is okay. That means if you use the DAC system, you're going to get the optimized sound you really want. Or if you connect to the computer, you're going to get a better sound than what I'm going to do. Because I'm going to connect to my phone and uh, I want to see what the difference is. We've got sound pressure level, which is SPL, and that is 106 decibel which is one kilohertz over V MMS and then we've got a total harmonic distortion which is THD and it's 0.1% over 100 over one kilohertz 100 decibels anyway spin the box over and we've got the lovely little box here and it's got the lovely illustration of the headphones which are brown and ivory sort of color and I think these are to be able to connect to my phone I hope so so we've got a detachable cable as normal. We've got a three meter cable by a 1.2 millimeter cable. Or one meter cable. And then we're gonna unbox it. Uh, come on. Oh, hang on. Let me start again. Open that flap. There we go. Included in the box, you will find a 6.3 millimeter jack end, followed by a 2.5 millimeter jack end. Now the 6.3 millimeter jack has two black bars on it, whereas the 2.5 millimeter jack's got three bars on it. And also this connects into the right hand side air cup of your headphones. And basically you put it in and you twist and it locks and then you twist again to the right hand side and then pull out and it unlocks. So, they're giving you like a three meter length cable so obviously if you're sitting in your living room lounge whatever you want to call it and you're relaxing other than they're not wireless but you want optimus 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 prime transformers ah no we're not talking about transformers we're talking about optimization so basically if you're using a dac system and you connect it via the 6.3 mil jack and you want to get it going for an amp and everything listen to your perfect music with perfect sound headphones and your perfect listening pleasure which will be sitting in a nice comfortable chair then uh, I suggest that you have a long cable and this is what Sennheiser is including in the box which is a great addition to uh, the 599s. So included in the box is also a 3.5 millimeter jack male end and then a 6.3 millimeter jack female end and Obviously Sennheiser included that long 3 meter cable and they put your 6.3 millimeter um, jack end into the female part and then you turn it into a 3.5 mil converter which is very perfect for mobile devices such as a mobile phone or a tablet or anything that's got a 3.5 millimeter um, female port and basically take that out because you wouldn't want to use that, it's just way too big isn't it? But also included in the box, we do also get from Sennheiser, a 1.2 meter 
Yep, 1.2 meter, 3.5 mil jack, both ends. So, no, actually, it's a 2.5 mil jack end that actually goes in the right end ear cup, which has obviously got a locking system as well, just like the other cable, and a 3.5 mil jack on the other end. So, on the 2.5 mil uh, end, which goes into your ear cup, has three black bars on it, and on the 3.5 mil jack end, which goes into a tablet or any device or anything that's got 3.5 mil female end, it's got two black bars. If you're worried about cable management and obviously how far you want to stretch that three meter cable because you might not have the biggest house in the world or you might have the smallest house in the world if you live in Hong Kong, I don't really know. But they've given you a long length of cable which is absolutely huge but they've also given you these as well. So these are little Velcro cable management um, things. <laughs> that have chucked in there which is really quite cool so you use this for obviously the smaller cable for your mobile phone or tablet device and then this one's for the, like the bigger one which is a three meter cable which is awesome thank you Sennheiser for including these it didn't cost that much did it it's cool so when I initially take these out of the box I'm like wow these are absolutely stunning I know I'm spinning really quickly if I spin them around a little bit slower that would be much better wouldn't it but anyway they, they look like an ivory colour but they look like the Mercedes uh, sort of flip paint it's got like a bit of metallic in there it looks really quite cool on the side here it's more metal and stuff and it's got Sennheiser written on there on the other side it doesn't have Sennheiser on there so if you've got OCD like me you're going to throw these in the bin no you won't really we'll just keep them but OCD you know like it's not even the same but it's quite unique, it's quite good. Sennheiser wanted to stand out a little bit more. I like the shape of them as well. They fit quite everyone's head really because they're really quite big. I'm gonna put these on my head in a minute, don't worry. But anyway, as you can see, the color's like a nice little cream that goes with the nice ivory color. And let's give it a flex test. It didn't break, that's good. So you can see it's quite flexible and it's got like metal inside, the plastic I think. No, actually it's got a cable that runs in there. So it's higher than the cable. Uh, into a flat run and go straight for the headband. It looks awesome. I like it But uh, you got the left where it says you got left on there and it's got right on there So in case you get confused and also if you got OCD again, it doesn't say HD 599 So it's got HD 599s on the right hand side and underneath there Oh, it's on the left hand side actually. Mm -hmm. The left air cup is where you twist and lock. I got it wrong. Sorry. But anyway, it's got a nice little metal female opening which is quite cool open back earphones so you can't really walk down the road with them because everyone will hear it but if you're like American wrestler someone that's big UFC fighter whatever don't worry about it they're not going to say anything anyway but yeah no just to be clear about it open back headphones leak out sound and that but you normally listen to them when you're at home so you can leak as much sound as you want but you can hear the best sound that you can of open back so this is what this is for anyway underneath the headband is really, it looks like leather but it's not, it's like a fake leather underneath, it's lovely, it's nicely stitched as well and it just looks really nice overall, it's quite a wide headband but I haven't put these on my head yet but I'm going to, anyway it's got nice big drivers inside the ear cups and it doesn't feel like anything will hurt your ears but it looks like it will go over your ears and maybe if you've got small ears like me, don't say anything in the comments, I'll find you. Anyway, um, yeah, you can put your, your little ears in here. Do you know what? These do feel well comfortable. And they don't feel too heavy. They feel heavy in the hands, but they're not heavy. They feel really light. They fit perfect. And there's just enough um, headroom there. I, I like them. I think they feel nice. They feel nice and comfortable. But it ain't just about comfort and aesthetics, it's about the sound listening pressure. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna connect it to a phone because it's got a little amplifier in it, like if you're using like a Galaxy Note, Samsung thing, or um, uh, what else is there, iPhone, um, all that sort of stuff. It's got its own little preamps built into it, but they're not as powerful as having a DAC system. When you're a proper audiophile head, you're going to use an amplifier and you're going to be tweaking graphic equalizers and everything like that and you're going to make sure that you're not going to be using mp3s you're going to be using uncompressed format of music maybe listen to records or stuff like that these are the sort of headphones that i would suggest that these probably are for not really for just the average joe because the price point as well um, and they look a bit i don't know they look pretty crazy they look quite nice but yeah, anyway, let's just test them, see what they sound like, and I'll give you my, my review and sound listening pleasure from these lovely, beautiful headphones. 
So what we do, you see this plug here, this is 2.5mm jack, goes in a female hole like this. And you twist and it's locked in there now. And I'm gonna put this on my headphones. So this is a bit weird actually. So this is the right way to put them on. I don't know, I prefer to put them on like this. <laughs> the weird thing is they feel comfortable like backwards or frontways, but I don't know if the driver's sound signature is going to be different, but I'm going to wear them the right way because it's no point. Get them fitted on there properly. How do they look? They look good. <laughs> oh, I could light it down with these actually. They feel well cool. They don't hurt my ears or nothing like that. Anyway, let's listen to it. Let's have a sound test. They are definitely really good. Like, yeah, I listened to them for definitely a good few hours, and I listened to it with like reggae, drum and bass, um, very like pop music like um, Taylor Swift, uh, Calvin Harris, and Rihanna, all them sort of people. And um, to be honest with you, when it has loads of music all happening at the same time, it's drums, vocals, bass, um, everything sounds a little bit distorted in the in the in the bottom end, like uh, everything else in the vocals are okay, but when you're listening to just say like voice and vocals, the acoustic sound sounds really quite pleasurable to listen to, to listen to, but everything all together just sounds a bit too much. Now if you had an amplifier with this, you could definitely separate the vocals, the bass and the trebles and all the surrounding sound inside the music. So say that you're sitting down and you want that 3D surround sound sort of feel, you can do that with an amplifier. It would sound a bit more solid, like the bass would sound a little bit more solid and a little bit more punchy, but there's no real bottom end. This is definitely not for reggae, it's not for bashment, it's not for drum and bass. It's more like for very like pop music, but very vocals, but not like up and happening um, pop music with a lot of bass and stuff. The trebles are okay, but the trebles and the bass together make it a little bit of distortion. It, I'd say there's probably about a 5% distortion out of 100% when you're listening to these at 100% uh, volume. So the headphones sounded a little bit off with the signature of acoustic sound. So what I got was when I was listening to it, uh, especially with Taylor Swift, it was really nice. You know when you've got the music and it starts off really nice, a bit like Adele, it starts off really nice with the vocals, no beats or anything like that. Vocals sound really sweet and good harmony and you can listen to it and it feels pleasure to listen to. It feels uh, nice and warm and crisp. And then as you get to the build up, it starts to feel more dramatic. You can hear, say that it's, you're watching a music video, you can hear like all the other different sounds in the background going off, like an open window and and uh, covers being brought off and all the enhanced sort of sounds that are in the music video, it sounded wonderful. And then all of a sudden, when it starts to get to the really, really top levels where they're about to belt out them sort of vocal signature levels, it starts to sound really good. But then when the beat and the bass and everything comes all together, that's where you'll hear a slight distortion. Now I, I turned my volume down to 80% and it didn't sound, it, it sounded a little bit lower than what it, what it would be. Now these are open back headphones, so it should sound awesome. And I weren't too like impressed with like the signature of uh, music that I was listening to. I was listening to a whole range of music because I know all of you out there always comment down below, why didn't you try this, why didn't you try that? Well that music wasn't what I listened to. Uh, I can't do everything, but I can listen to everything. So I listen to everything and I'm telling you that it's no good for bashment, no good for reggae, no good for drum and bass, no good for techno, definitely not good for house because there's no bass and beat together, it will sound muffled and distorted. But when you're just listening to like vocals, like opera music and uh, very harsh um, like violinists and pianos, you'll definitely hear the high signature sound, acoustic sound that you want to hear. But anything that that's all dramatic all together is going to sound very muffled. 
But when you go on amplifier, you could push the signature and m mess around with the equalizers a little bit more to get the signature that you want. But yes, out of the box, it's not ready. Out of the box, definitely not. Out of all the Sennheisers I've listened to, you can get it straight out of the box and it's ready, you know? Like, even if it's raw, like you listen to raw talent, that like they come into the studio, they're singing and everything like, you can hear everything. You can hear the flat spots, you can hear like where the vocals are really good, and you can hear like the, if there's too much hiss and everything like that, where they're breathing. With this, you can hear that, but it's slightly a little bit over. I weren't too impressed with these. I can recommend them I can recommend them not for everything else I've just said, but recommend them if you listen to opera music and you're listening just to vocals and not dramatic uh, music all at once. Which is pretty sad because these are really comfortable and I could lie down with these, no problem, and they feel so comfortable and they feel like they're not there. And aesthetics wise, they're very, very good looking headphones. Probably not for everyone though, because they are brown and they've got a bit of ivory in there, but yeah, I do actually like them. They're really cool and they're robust as well. And which is a bit of annoyance because everything you get in the box is like, you got this, you got that lead, and you got everything to make it look really good. But if you're gonna buy these, I suggest that you buy these and you buy an amplifier that goes well with these, and then you kind of fine tune the signature that you're looking for. Anyway, that is my review on the Sennheiser 599, 599s, yeah, that's it, 599s, yeah, anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, if you dislike it, give it a dislike down below, comment, and share this video, and yeah, that's all I've got to say, and thanks for watching, and see you next one.